So now my dear students, we come to practical questions on retirement of a partner. The examiners ask questions of six marks or more on retirement of partners. So when solving questions or preparing for examination and doing some practice on problems on retirement, my dear students, you have to take into account four items, four things. The first is that the assets and the liabilities of the firm will be revalued as on the date of retirement. The retiring partner was also a part of the business when these assets were acquired. So when he is retiring, he is entitled to any benefit that has accrued on account of the assets. If the value of the asset has increased, he must get this benefit. If the value of any asset has, been, has gone down, he must be ready to suffer on that account also. Similarly, the liabilities also will be reassessed. If there is any increase in liabilities, it is a loss and the retiring partner must be asked to make good that loss. And if any liability has gone down, then it is again the retiring partner must benefit from this. In a way, the whole process of revaluation and reassessment of assets and liabilities respectively is just similar to the admission of a partner. Absolutely there is no change. In admission of a partner, there was profit or loss on revaluation and it went to the old partners in the old ratio. Here also, when assets and liabilities are revalued and reassessed, any loss on this account will go to the old partners in old ratio. So it is just the same, there is nothing new. And the second thing which is to be done is, look here, I have mentioned here, revaluation of assets and liabilities. It is in the same way as it was in the case of admission. Next is distribution of reserves, undistributed profits or and funds. So if there are reserves lying there, these reserves were built when the retiring partner was a regular active partner. So if he is going, he must get his share of these profits. Some undistributed profits, some funds like implies compensation fund. If there is no claim, on this fund, the entire fund will be distributed among the old partners in the old ratio. Similarly, I should mention here also that if there is any unrecorded asset, if there is any unrecorded asset, unrecorded asset lying in the firm, when this asset was acquired, it was not recorded in the books. If the partnership firm got a trophy for very good performance in exports and the trophy is made of pure gold and the weight is 1 kg. So 1 kg gold, when the trophy was brought to the office, no entry was passed for this. So all the partners were very happy. They were enjoying their performance and their appreciation in the market. So the trophy was kept in the office in a showcase. Now that when a partner is retiring, he will have to take care of this fact because he is not going to leave this trophy for the continuing partners. He will request the partners, partners look here, let us put a value on this trophy. This is unrecorded, let us record it. So this was unrecorded. And I will say it was recorded at zero value. Unrecorded assets are being taken as recorded at zero. So this too was recorded at zero and from zero it has 
come up to 25 lakhs at the present rate of gold. So 25 lakhs is the value of this unrecorded asset. It can be recorded from the through the through the revaluation account and then in the new balance sheet which is prepared it will appear on the asset side. This is how it can be recorded. So same way it was recorded in case of admission. Here also unrecorded assets can be taken into account under this. And the third thing my dear students settlement of the retiring partners account. After <coughs> All the adjustments in the capital accounts are made, all the profits are transferred, all the undistributed profits are transferred, all entries for any goodwill have also been made. Then after all entries are made, there will be a balance in the account of the retiring partner. Now the retiring partner is retiring today, he will like his account to be settled today. He will request the other two partners, partners, please give me a send off. I am going, give me what is due to me. Whatever the amount due to him, that is the amount to be settled and it can be settled in this way. Full payment can be made to him on that day. Mr. Partner, retiring partner, here is this money, take this money and thank you very much. Uh, for working with us all these years. We enjoyed your company. So this is how a farewell will be given to the retiring partner. And if the partners don't have full money, if they don't have full money, they can request him, okay, Mr. Retiring Partner, we are transferring your balance to your loan account. We will be paying interest on your loan account as per the rules of the Indian Partnership Act. And for the time for which we keep the money in loan, loan account, we will pay you interest. And if they do not have full, but they have some money, if they have some money, they can make a part payment and the remaining amount can be transferred to the loan account. This is how his account will be settled. The loan account can continue for one year, for two years, for three years. It can be paid through installments with interest on the outstanding balance. So therefore, this is number three. Number four is, sometimes the continuing partners adjust their accounts. Some adjustments are made in their accounts. They may decide that after the retiring partner has gone, after he has been paid, their accounts will be equal. Their accounts will be in the ratio of their profit sharing. Their, their accounts will be in a different ratio from the profit sharing ratio. Whatever they decide, they can do to their accounts. The only thing is that if they have to bring some money from home in order to pay the retiring partner, if they have to bring some money from home in order to pay the retiring partner, these entries will also be made because they bring her money from home and then they have enough money to make the payment to the retiring partner. After the payment has been made, these adjustments will be made as asked. This topic of adjustment of accounts will be independently taken next time. So, Therefore, these four items are going to be discussed now under practical problems on retirement. Now, one type of problem